Neil, another afternoon of what might have been. Yeah, we should have won the game. And, uh, you know, we give away two schoolboy goals from our point of view. But, you know, you're coming in at half time 2 0 down, and really you should be four up. Uh, goalkeeper made two unbelievable saves. And the quality, it's hit the bar second half, we've scored second half. We were a better team for 70 minutes of the game. And we've come away with nothing, and it's, uh, it's hard to take that one because um, the performance overall was pretty good. Yeah, it's a familiar tale, isn't it, of uh, not taking opportunities and then causing your own problems at the back? Yeah, it's, it's a tale of the game. You know, we've, we've not, Reading haven't earned the goals, we've handed them on a plate. Um, and we've created three or four great chances early on. We have a better team by a mile for the first half hour. Psych psychologically, we, we give a goal to Reading. We actually hand it on a plate to them. But our reaction after that was disappointing until half time. But the second half was another decent performance. And, um, you know, we, we deserve to get something from the game, but we haven't. So we have to take the positives from it. As a manager, you can only. You can't put the ball in the net for them, and you can't legislate for mistakes that were made for the, both the goals. Difficult in the current situation, but I guess in the sense of the fact you created opportunities has got to be a big positive to take from it. And as you say, the reaction was good following uh, you know, two disappointments just before half-time. Yeah, we've got to go again. You know, yeah. We've got Brentford Monday, so it gives us a week to prepare. And uh, look at where we've done a lot of things right and you know, improved. On our finishing, but we missed easy chances today, you know, comfortable chances. And like I say, you know, you can't legislate for the, you know, it's, I mean, it's schoolboy defending for the first goal, and the second goal we've given the ball away in a poor area and then, you know, got punished for it. And that's the tail of the game because um, in the second half, it was only one team trying to win the game, and that was us. And that's, for me, shows a good, a positive mental attitude from the players. Some outstanding performances as well. Wheater again, Vela, you know, I couldn't ask any more. Um, you know, Casado had a decent game, Liam Feeney. So there's a lot of positives, but again, it's a defeat and it's hard to take that one for. When you're in the current situation, uh, you're looking for leaders in the team. Yeah. Do you feel that they're in there in the dressing room? Well, I felt for, you know, the 10 minute spell where we, you know, lost a two goal lead, we, we went a bit. And that, that, that's unacceptable with the, the, you know, with the experience we have in the team. And that's the reason why we've been, you know, struggling for the last couple of years. The senior players have to take on more responsibility on the pitch. You know, and look after the younger, look after the team. You know, and yeah, I need some managers on the pitch at times when, you know, we, we're on top. We give away a, a poor goal, and then we have to react better than what we've done, and um, we didn't. The reaction of the supporters at the end uh, was positive in the sense uh, they, were, they were applauding the players. They were appreciative. Uh, again, they were uh, they were a 12th man for you today. Yeah, fantastic. I know. We're very lucky to have a support like we do, and I think they understand the plate that the club is in. But we wanted to give them a performance today. I think we give them the performance, but not the result.